Hey, this is old Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three string cigar box guitar. Yeah. And uh, this is a, a, an old Eddie Cochran tune called Summertime Blues. Everybody's copied it. I mean, from Alan Jackson to The Who. Um, you can do it country, you can do it rock and roll. You could do it any way you want. Um, this is how I do it. I'm just going to use three shapes or two shapes, three chords. Okay? Two shapes, three chords. Shape one is the inversion of G. So I'm putting my finger here and there and there. And then this shape and then that shape. And that's it. So G, C, and D. So I'm going to go through the song first, and uh, then we'll break it down. Well, I'm going to raise a fuss, and I'm going to raise a holler. But I'm working all summer just to try to earn a dollar. My baby, I try to get a date. My boss said, No die, son, you gotta work late. Sometimes I wonder what I was gonna do. There ain't no cure for the summertime blues. Well, my mama and my son gotta make some money. the car cause you didn't work a lick. Sometimes I wonder what I'm gonna do. There ain't no cure for the summertime blues. If you get the idea, you can do it a couple of ways. You can play your G here. I prefer this method of doing this. So here's what the, the G looks like. So we know G, D, G, which is a G chord. So G, G sharp, A. These are all bar chords. B flat, B, C, important chord in this song. C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, so on and so on and so forth. Um, so a C chord in this song, and just look at the dots right here. You can see, there you go. It's a C chord, it's on the fifth fret, so one, two, three, four, five. And then I use my pinky, or my third finger, on the D chord. So C, C sharp, and D, so it's on this other dot right here. So all I have to do is remember these two dots. Right? And you got C, and you got D. Um, something else I use. I use the G inversion. Um, don't let the word inversion fool you. It's just a fancy music way of, of saying it's a different shape than what you're used to. Okay? It's just a different shape. So, the shape is you put your third finger here on this D note. You put your first finger here on the C note, that D string, that middle string. And then you put your pinky here on the D and you play it this way. That's a G. Just like that, this is a G. The reason I prefer this G is because I don't have to think. I just go G, C, G, uh, D, G. And I can mute the G just by lifting my hands up. See my fingers just move a little bit, so watch it even closer. That's what you're aiming for. You're going to strum with it down, and then you're going to release, but you're still on the strings. So you're... And it's like you're touching paper, just barely perceptibly touching it. That's the sound you want.
So you want to use this hand muting, and this is called left hand muting. You can see me press and let go. You can watch it on my fingernail when it comes down and press. See what I mean? You can see it. And when I go from here, I kind of let go, and then to the D. So, get yourself used to this shape and be able to either come down, swing down this way, or put your pinky, slide your pinky up. I use my pinky, it's just a normal thing for me to do. So, the rhythm is just like this. So you're kind of raking across the strings, giving each one the same value. So get used to this. You know, like this one gets 33%, 33%, 33%, makes 99%, and it's close enough for me. And this is what you're after. Exactly this. G, C. can certainly do it this way. But the only way to stop it is to karate chop it with your hand. Okay, so it's a different style. It's what you'd like to do. You can certainly... Well, I'm going to raise the fuss and I'm going to raise a holler. certainly do that if you want. That's totally cool. Um, I like my method because I don't have to look down. I can just go G, C, D, G. And when you're playing this live and this thing is slung nice and low and you're just rocking away on it, it's really nice to be able to just look down at those two dots and that's it. So that's how I think. I always think of a live performance. start out with this. Summertime blues, folks. gotta work late. Sometimes I wonder, rock and roll rhythm, what I'm gonna do. There ain't no cure for the summertime blues. And trust me, your hands, you, this hand is not gonna want to do this. It's, it's gonna want to go... do something funny and you just got to get it down into muscle memory um, basically anytime you're doing these funky little tricks which is this is a complicated song folks don't think it isn't uh, you guys and gals out there this is a complicated rhythm so um, it's definitely more than just a basic beginner thing it's delving almost into the intermediate zone um, in my opinion so um, if you can't get it right away, don't worry. It's something that takes time. So let it take some time. These are complicated things to be able to work this hand independently of this one. And if you notice my pinky, I just go there. Right there. See that I slide? See that slide right there? So I'm on D. And I just slide my my third finger right there. Okay? And my pinky down. Watch it again. My pinky. 
See where they go? So I'm on one. Watch my pinky move. See how that goes? So from G to C. Rock and roll rhythm is standard right there. You're going to play on that A note. All right, we got the summertime blues out there. Great tune, good for a bar band. Um, if you're out there playing in front of a bunch of people, this is a great song to pull off. Everybody loves it. Everybody thinks they know the lyrics, but they don't. So whatever you sing is going to be fine. Don't worry about messing up lyrics. Um, no one else worries about it either. This is uh, Uncle Mark and the Mothership, um, Summertime Blues, Eddie Cochran. And uh, I also have a donate link down below. It's a uh, paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you for all your donations. Thank you so much for everything you do for me, sharing on social media, all of those wonderful things you do for me. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, you, know, you guys and gals are just beyond wonderful. So uh, thank you all and uh, more to come.